Hello everyone, today I would like to teach you how to download and to use the AB software. So this is actually a sequence editor that uses a modified gene bank format to save sequences. In this software, you are able to paste any DNA or plasmid sequence and uh, you can monitor the digest or restriction sites and you can use annotation you can annotate the feature of the plasmid or a DNA and you can view the schematic representation either in graphical or in linear form. I personally like this one compared to the other sequence editor because it's really very easy to use. It's very simple and um, you can paste a sequence there and you can use so many features such as aligning the sequences and uh, looking at the enzymes and then you can use it to digest a portion of your DNA. So how to do that? The first thing that you have to do is open your browser. So uh, for example, you can use the Google, Google Chrome and then I just type the AP Plasmid Editor. So this one. And then after that, you can see this website if you are using a Mac, you can click this one, and if you're using a Windows, you can click to download this part. So, for example, I use this Mac, so I will download this software and just wait for a while until it's downloading. And also on this website, you can see the summary of the feature. So, for example, in this part, they have annotated this DNA sequence. And also during annotation, you can choose the colors that you like, which I will explain later. And also here, you can see the translated version of the DNA. So you can see the protein of, or you can translate a whole sequence of the DNA, or you just translate a portion of it. And you can see the protein sequence. And after that, you can see the graphical representation. So here is the circular map of the DNA sequence and also you can choose to see the linear sequence if you want and also you can see the virtual restriction digest. In this software you are able to see the list of all enzymes that you can use in this uh, in plasmid sequence or DNA sequence and so on. So for example these are the enzymes and many more features which we can explore later okay so i think it has already downloaded and just open it okay so now you have opened it and you can just drag this ab software into application and ah uh, here we go it's copying there and next you can open the finder as you can see, the AP software is there. Just right click and open and wait for a little while. Sometimes this application, uh, after you download this application, you can see this one, so just click open. And then, here you go, you have downloaded your AP software. The next thing that you have to do is paste any DNA sequence. So if you have prepared your DNA sequence already, you can just paste it there. So for example, in my case, I would like to paste the sequence of a blue script and um, just copy the DNA sequence and then paste it there. Okay, so I will copy the blue script sequence and then just paste it there. Okay, so here it goes. Your DNA sequence is here. The next thing that I want to do is I want to annotate some fragments of DNA or I want to annotate. So how to do that? Just select any DNA sequence that you want. Uh, this is just an example of um, annotation. Uh, this is not accurate. So for example, um, uh, like you want to annotate a portion and name the gene or something so you can do that so just select a portion and click feature new feature and then label it for example I want to label it as um, fragment one for example 
and then um, you can choose the feature type for example if it's a gene and select the type of gene or signals RNAs and so on so for example I chose a gene and then choose here if it's a gene it automatically like uh, shows the color but if you want to change the color you can also do that uh, for example I want to choose my favorite colors uh, first I want to choose pink and then okay and then after that um, you can also choose if you want to have an arrow later in your graph or in your map so if I don't want an arrow I can just remove this one and then just click OK so here I go this feature has been annotated next I want to add other features so I just do the same thing just click it and then new feature and then label it with uh, for example fragment 1 fragment 2 and then just choose the color that you want I want to choose yellow and then I I want to like um, just make this arrow just stay there so I just click OK and then next is if I want to add other feature then I can just do it again okay so feature 3 fragment 3 sorry and then uh, if you want to have that arrow there it's okay and then just click okay and then and so on you can just do whatever you want you can just annotate as many as you want okay so I want to add one more because I want to have a very colorful graph later it's the feature new feature and then fragment 4 and then choose the color that you want uh, maybe green okay then just click OK so here you go and then um, after that I can just name it so file save and then um, you can just name it so for example this is P blue script and then just save it so it's named already and then after that if I want to see graphical representation I can just uh, here if this is the linear if you want to see in linear form you can just say you can just click um, enzymes and then graphic map so here is the linear form as you can see in the first part as you can remember in fragment one we remove the arrow direction so it doesn't have any arrow but the three others have arrows and next is if we want to see using circular so just click it here and then it was changed into circular and then click enzymes and click graphic map so here you go this is the circular representation of the plasmid that we annotated next is um, for example you want to include all the enzymes that contains the digestion sites, so all the restriction enzymes. So just click enzymes and then graphic U. And here you go. You can use um, restriction enzymes at any of these here. So if you don't want to include these enzymes in your like graphic map, you just can just click like um, here. You just click graphic map. And then also if you want to see the list of enzymes here, you can just click list of enzymes and then just click OK. And here, these are all the enzymes that are included in the sequence. Okay. And next is if we want to um, translate it into protein. So just click translate and you can select a portion that you want to translate but if you want to translate all of the sequences just translate all so okay and then here here is the translated one but uh, it doesn't happen in real life so you can just select a portion and then you can just translate it so for example you selected this one and then you can do that and then uh, where is that translate okay so this is the selection and just click OK so this is the translated 
version of the selected part and the next thing that we want I want to show is how to um, okay the next thing that I want to do is how to align the sequences for example if you have two plasmid sequences or two gene sequences and you want to see the similarities between those sequences you can use this um, software to align those sequences so we have created this one sequence and then we can just um, create new file and then we can just paste it there the new sequence that we want to compare so for example I have prepared here another sequence which is um, the Cas9 gRNA in blue script plasmid. So this is um, Cas9 Cas sgRNA that is inserted into a blue script plasmid. So this is just for example. So I just copy this one and then I will select it and just paste it into a new window or new AP file. And then I just save it and then um, I will label it as, um, for example, this is the CRISPR Cas9 and sgRNA in a blue script, P blue script. Okay, so and then we save it. Next is I I want to compare the sequences between the two. I just um, select tools and then align two sequences. Oh there's no name so first I have to uh, save I oh okay so maybe there's a mistake because I saved it already so I just save it again so um, the file name is uh, Cas9 as gRNA and a blue script plus me okay so and then save it so and then align two sequences tools align two sequences and then the first is uh, you select blue script and then cas9 as gRNA blue script two of the files that you want to align together and then just click OK so here you go this is the alignment of the two plasmid so this portion means that these sequences does not align to each other however from this part these sequences align with each other and this doesn't okay so maybe those sequences that align together are those that has part of blue script and a plus of, and a part of Cas9 as gRNA blue script okay you can just close it and then uh, that's it so far when I am using the editing of plasmid I'm just using this kind of like feature these are really very important but if you want to use you can just explore and see what um, feature you want to use it's really very easy to use and uh, you can do it so okay so thanks for watching this video and if you have some questions about this you can just comment below and let me know so I can teach you how to do that okay so um, thanks you and have a nice day bye